This is the F104 to me here, and this is the Align 450L. Um, I had to retune the tail linkages a little bit because it was stiff right here, so I loosened the servo, um, the screw out a little bit, but I did put a lock tight in there. So it's nice and smooth, as you can see. No stiffness, which is good. I did uh, disconnect the, the ball link from the, I disconnect this from, uh, from there so I can see the play and see how smooth it will be. Um, but yes, I do have the tail servo in there, which is already good. Um, it's going back to the head. Servos are smooth. I had an issue with the right servo. Um, but this part, I did replace it. But it seems a little stiff, but I think it's still okay. It moves pretty freely on that section. And this servo right here is pretty smooth too. You can see. And right here. Yeah, uh, so I did the aluminum metal upgrade on the upright. This, this is metal here too, the arms, the steering the suspension post, metal, metal motor mount, and a carbon, a carbon, black carbon uh, uh, shaft for the wheels. Um, I have driven this car in the past. Let's see, I can see it's on my it's on my YouTube channel. If you scroll through my videos, I'm running the Castle 5.7 100 kV uh, 3S model and uh, S side one of four running for Taba. Uh, this is evidence of me running it hard in the past. Uh, Got the MKS gyro and a waterproof uh, receiver box. I'm gonna be paying this the uh, Red Bull, the Audi 16, I think 2018. And uh, I'm still waiting for my decal sheet to come in. So stay tuned um, for the next update. All right, signing out.